Alrighty then. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. So for today, um, instead of drawing a character, I wanted to go ahead and do a tips and tricks video because we're currently going over it in my class that I teach outside of YouTube that I actually teach kids in person. But I wanted to talk about profile view. So when you hear the word profile, you probably think, I don't know, maybe your profile picture on some social media or your avi on Twitter, I don't know. So you're just thinking about that, but what profile means is like the side of your face. Just in case you didn't know that, you probably already knew that and I'm just wasting a ton of my breath. <laughs> so the way I like to teach the profile view is you pretend to draw a motorcycle helmet. And this gives you the opportunity to say, well, my profile, but my person's kind of looking down. So you can kind of draw that profile to look like this, but it looks like a motorcycle helmet because if I were to go ahead and draw like a little, a little windshield or whatever right here, it would automatically look like a motorcycle helmet. After this motorcycle helmet, that's when I like to go ahead and give like an eye line to where the eye is going to land. This is also a way for you to create your own original character. Does your original character have a big nose, a little nose? However big the nose is, I always like to draw a circle right here. So even if your character had a really big nose like this, then you can go a little bit bigger. But my, I'm gonna make this nose somewhat normal. Is where that eye line is, and I also like to imagine there's a little bit of distance from this part of the nose ridge to the eye because if you look at someone from the profile they don't have that much space and this this is included with any kind of cartoons that you look at from their profile we want to just bring it back and give a little bit of space and I always like to kind of curve this inward and make it almost look like a spotlight so even if this is a girl or a boy I always still make this shape of eye because then I can kind of bring it down. If it's a guy, I can bring it inwards or I can bring, make it a little bit bigger. So after I make that part, what I like to do is I like to go ahead and draw the pupil of the eye. Now the pupil of the eye, it's not going to be a full circle. It's going to be almost like a half moon. And I draw it and I go ahead and I draw the pupil all the way over. I lay the iris off to the side. So with the eyelashes, you always want to flare them outwards just because you are not, we are, we can kind of see them over here, but if you flare them outwards a little bit more, it gives a little bit more definition. You never want to forget that eyelid and the eyebrow will always come pretty close to the edge of the forehead. So when it comes to the nose ridge, we've got our eye space. So that means I can go ahead and I can start to bring it outward. So here's our nose ridge, bring this outward and connect. So where that circle is, I just made that the entirety of the nose of the side, the profile. So then I can go ahead and give a nostril and give a little bit of that nose flap because I don't know what it's called and I can shade underneath. The trickiest part that people don't always ask me about is how to make lips when it comes to the profile thing. Now this is what I discovered back in high school. If you make an M, make a little bit of a space, and make an M, you see the M? That is always gonna be your number one guide to making lips because if I make that M, I can go ahead and define it a little bit more. So I'm gonna make my upper lip a little bit thicker like I make it stick out just a little bit more, make the bottom lip flow in a little bit more. And the most importantly, I go from that middle of that M, give that upper lip and give that under lip. So I'll kind of bring that to the side, but another thing to keep in mind is your cheeks are lined up with your, your character's dimples. So if I bring this upward just a bit, that means if I was going to color her in later, here's her rosy cheek, I've got her lips. So you always want, if you're, always, if you're a little bit confused on where to bring this part, how far back should I go, 
If you line up with the bottom part of your eye, line this up right here and go inwards, that's as far you should as you should probably go when it comes to making your dimple and where that line of the initial lip line should go. After the lips, I just kind of bring, now this is a character choice once again. If your character has a square chin, a round chin, this girl has a round chin, so I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in. Give a little bit of a cheek, a little bit of a jawline. And then for where the ear is supposed to go, I like to line my ears up with the eyes kind of back here. You don't want to bring your ear too close and you don't want to bring and you don't want to put it like way out here. When it comes to hair, I always like to do like maybe sometimes the hairstyle will have like a side bang which is just over off to the side and I can color in this side just to show that there is hair on the other side of her face. And I bring this in, bring it backwards and maybe cover up that top part of her ear. Give a little bit of an earring. You always, you don't want to go too far back with the neck. You don't want to go way back here. You always want to bring it a little bit right here. Just a little bit of chin space. Bring down the neck. And then essentially, this should connect to this ear. Like with the body anatomy. This jawline should connect to the ear and lead up into the ear. So that means my neck needs to be right down here. But once again, it's a character choice because you always see some cartoonists that have the super skinniest necks and it just doesn't biologically line up as well. But I don't know, let's give her a fascinator since I am already gearing up for dapper day. So I'm gonna give her a little bit of a fascinator. It is for the for boys, it's almost the exact same thing. I start off with the motorcycle head. I'm gonna make his head a little bit larger. I'm actually going to bring down that line just a little bit because I want it to look like he's looking at her. So that means I'm going to give him a larger nose. So I'm going to draw that circle. A little bit of space imaginary line for the nose ridge. Give the spotlight and I'll do, I'll do the exact same things, exact same shape for how I gave the spotlight. And it's a character choice once again, however you do your eyes, try to apply that the best way you can to the way you're drawing your profile image. So with guys, I'm not going to give him eyelashes, I'm going to give him more of a thick eyelash line because he doesn't have crazy eyelashes like she does. And I'm going to go ahead and bring his pupil, half moon style, close to the bottom corner and give a little space right here because he's looking down at her. Give a little bit of shine, pupil. And then I need an eyebrow, so his eyebrow's gonna come pretty close. Nice thick eyebrow. And I'm gonna go ahead, bring out his, I'm gonna bring out his forehead just a little bit. Create that nose ridge. Swoop it down. Make the M, a little bit of space. Make the M. So for guys with their, you might think, oh my gosh, well, what if I make his, his, his lips too poofy and he's supposed to be more masculine? The M is always gonna help. I still create the M for my guys. I'm gonna go ahead and bring out that chin. Just start to bring it out. But the only thing I don't do is I don't define the boys' lips. I don't give like the, the thick upper lip and thick bottom lip. I just go ahead, make that line. Where's my dimple going? So go down this way. That means I wanna bring it to here. More dimple. Go ahead and make that, see how I'm making his cheek? We'll go ahead and give him a little bit of rosy cheek too. Just a little bit of rosy cheek. Maybe they're meeting for the first time at Dapper Day and they fell in love. I'll go ahead, give him more of a, of a more boxy chin. More of a sharp jawline. And of course I'm gonna give him that over there. And for his ear, go ahead and bring it. Make sure it's still level with that line. Bring this 
this down. Oh, here it is. Let's give him his nostril, nose flap, color this in. And sometimes with guys, I like to go ahead and give maybe just a little indication that he has a bottom lip. But then for guys, I, I, I kind of still like to do that. Oh, he's got hair over here. This is just kind of looking like Matt Smith at the moment. <laughs> the thing with guys too, with their neck, you want to give space back here behind their jawline like we did over here. I'm going to bring down his hairline a little bit more. So we have this side and then we have this side. But the thing with guys, they always have an Adam's apple. So I always like to give a little indication that it's an Adam's apple. go Adam's apple and then broad shoulders because men have broader shoulders than women and of course I'm just gonna start cutting up that because I want him to have a bow tie because I'm determined that this is Matt Smith now there you guys go there's a little quick tutorial on how to do profiles maybe this isn't the way that you do profiles but anyways it's just a way it to see it a little bit more clearly because if I never learned how to do the M for the lips I probably would have never figured out profiles altogether so it's just a way to help you guys so you're not struggling like I was struggling for so many years it's always nice to hear somebody else's opinion on how they approach different uh, techniques on how to animate the facial features but yes guys I hope you all have a most wonderful day and I will see you all later 